This video is aimed at young earth creationists who claim that science is unscientific, as if they're qualified to determine such a thing. These guys focus on evolution, geology and cosmology, which they lump together into what they call evolutionism, for no other reason than they contradict their literal interpretation of the Bible. They are hyper-skeptical of these branches of science, yet they happily accept germ theory, quantum physics, gravity and more. They pick and choose what suits their agenda and ignore what scientists themselves are saying about the validity of the theories. These creationists are blissfully unaware of the fact that creation scientists are not real scientists. They are pseudoscientists. The reason we know this is that they apply the scientific method backwards. Put simply, real scientists try to figure out how the world works after analysing the data, whereas the creation scientists start with the assumed conclusion that their interpretation of the Bible is correct. Then they cherry-pick through the data and focus only on the evidence which seems to confirm creationism and they ignore everything else. I submit that, as well as being pseudoscientific, young earth creationism also incorporates a conspiracy theory in which it is claimed that evolutionists – there's that dubious generalisation again – are all in cahoots and promote false theories. This is supremely hypocritical because it is exactly what creation science does. For those who think I'm talking horseshit, please check what I'm saying, but don't make the mistake of only referring to creationist sources for your information. Try asking a secular biologist. If I wanted to learn how to make baskets, I wouldn't go asking a train driver. I'd ask a basket maker. This might seem like a silly analogy, but by only learning about science from creationists, you'll never get an accurate understanding of how science and the scientific method works. If you want to find out how science works and why creationism is pseudoscientific, ask a scientist. And no, Kent Hovind is not a scientist. I mentioned before that creationists are highly sceptical of science. This is also hypocritical because they never apply that same scepticism to their own beliefs. They certainly don't apply it to the Bible. Many of them haven't even read the damn thing. It is this kind of inconsistency which bothers me. I wouldn't care if they kept this to themselves, but when they try to force it on others to try to get more people to think like they do and believe what they believe, I become irritable. If they're doing this out of ignorance, then someone needs to point out their mistakes to them. If they're doing it for financial profit, or if they simply don't care whether any of it is true, then a more forceful opposition is required, in my humble opinion. Another thing which none of them seem to realise is that an accurate understanding of science almost always causes a person to abandon their beliefs in a young earth. The idea of a 6,000 year old universe is not just slightly wrong, you know, out by a few percent, it's staggeringly, jaw-droppingly, face-palmingly wrong. How wrong, I hear you ask? The universe is 3.2 million times older than they think it is. Think of it in terms of money. One pound, euro or dollar won't buy you much these days, but with 3.2 million you could retire immediately and either invest it wisely and be financially secure for as long as the global economy doesn't collapse, or you could just fritter it away. The way I see it is that science and young earth creationism are totally incompatible, and any attempts to connect the two are doomed to failure. I wish that such creationists would admit that their beliefs are magical in nature, and stop trying to use science to support the unsupportable. If they want to persuade people who know about the real world that their worldview is correct, then they ought to have some pretty good evidence to back up their claims. But they don't. Before I finish, I'd like to say that there are some creationists who do have a reasonable understanding of science, and this video is not addressed to them. But I'd say that they are almost as rare as unicorn dung. My main disagreements are with the fundamentally religious and those we might call extremists. Science and religion don't need to try to disprove each other. Some scientists are religious, but they keep the two things separate, unlike the creation scientists, 
who, like I said, are not proper scientists. Anyway, thanks for watching, and don't take anything I've said unskeptically. Check it out for yourselves, and if you find that I've made any mistakes, please point them out to me.